again welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be creating a look like this this is a get ready well not get ready with me but more like back to school look and i try to keep it as simple as i can and i use everything that was on the everything that's on the video sorry it is drugstore so they are very affordable maybe one or two things that i might show that is not drugstore but i just can't seem to get my hands off of it it's one of my favorite products which you'll see later on in the video and yeah so i created this look right here this is very very pretty i love it do you like my new background by the way guys Yes, I didn't know what outfit to wear, so I just put this like denim button down shirt going on here. And yeah, if you like to see how I created this look right here, then just keep on watching. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you hydrate your face, make sure you moisturize it before you go putting any type of makeup on your face. That was just my cat. And yeah, so the, what I like to use is um, the Brazilian Bomb Bomb Cream. So this is, I don't think this is a drugstore, but I will leave the link down below. I am going to be using mostly everything drugstore to, you know, keep it fair for you guys. So I use this to put all over my face. This smells so, so good. So I basically got this from um, my Boxy Charm, and I'm definitely going to go and order me some more because this is really good. It keeps my face moisturized, and I just love how silky it feels. I keep looking at my monitor. It feels really good and hydrating. So that's, that's one main thing you want to do before you go putting on any kind of foundation so the next thing I like to do is I, I normally put like 500 things on my face before I go putting like my foundation because it will keep my, my makeup last a little longer throughout the day and that's what you're looking for you're gonna be in school all day so you want something that's gonna last on your face all day so I'm gonna go ahead with the Mario this is one of my favorites and this also keeps your face hydrated you can put that before, after your makeup. You don't see any? Yes. And um, yeah, yeah. And then the next thing I like to do is I like to go in with the Smashbox. Now this is optional. Like I said, I was trying to use everything as a drugstore, but if you can, you can also use um, the Wet and Wild primer. This is also good. And yeah, I don't. I just want to go in with the Smashbox. Okay. Like, I, I bought this and I was so like hooked. It, is, it minimizes your pores. It's, it's a good, good primer. And you know, I don't even have a mirror here. No, I don't. I'm going to have to use this palette mirror. So I'm going to go ahead and dab some of this onto my face. I don't like to put too much because I am a little bit oily on my T-zone. And we want to avoid... All that oil oiliness going on but this is really good so I put it more mainly onto my pores where my Lord large pores is at. Wow I cannot speak today oh, I could never speak right you guys must be used to that already so yeah so I rub that in onto my skin and then I just tap it whatever it's left over move on now so the next thing I like to do so this is one of my favorite go-to foundations I've been using this throughout the summer and I've seen it hold up to its potential through the humidity the sweating and stuff like that this is a really good foundation and this is the foundation right here and this is matte to poreless and this is normal to uh, normal to oily so this is a good foundation right here now I know it's not good for my t-zone so that's where I'm gonna set my face more and concentrate the powders on towards my center of the face but other than that this is a great foundation throughout the day it does last me and so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and dab that all over my face as well then I'm gonna use the to buff this oil and I'm gonna use the Morphe Y6 and it looks like this and I'm just gonna go and buff this in I feel like using this brush or any buffing brush really uh, <laughs> airbrush finish I like the way this brush feels towards my skin it doesn't tug which is good because some brushes are really harsh and it tugs to your skin it tugs your skin and you don't want that so I'm just gonna go and dab this foundation into my skin so I like to just 
spread this around and then I just dab it in like so. And look at how nice this foundation looks. Make sure you bring that down your chair, girl. <laughs> girl, do that. Don't forget your neck. So yeah, look at how pretty that looks. That looks really good and flawless. And it looks like my skin. That's what I like about this foundation. It's not too heavy. It feels so good to, on my skin. So now the next thing I'm gonna do, I just skipped the whole process. Usually I do my eyes first and then work through my foundation, but um, we're gonna just go as we, you know, go. Now the next thing I like to do is to conceal my eyes. So then I'm gonna use the Revol uh, Revolution Makeup Revlon London, and it looks like this. Now um, this is not this is not my first time using it, but I have been using it quite some time right now and I love the way this is like I think I would rather go towards this than my Tarte shape one this is a good good concealer so I'm just gonna put a few dots on my eyes like so I'm gonna go ahead with the Morphe M536 and I'm gonna go and blend this bad boy out I like this brush because it fits perfectly on my eye socket look at how nice that looks then the next thing I'm going to do is to set my eyes. I normally go in with the Wet n Wild um, Dulce de Leche. It's a tool, it's a bronzer, and a setting powder. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And this is, for, this is fair, sorry. And it looks like this. Now this powder is super, super good. I love the way this feels. It's very light. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead with the same brush. And I'm just going to dab that to set my eyes like so so and like what girl please talk straight yo I can't I can't talk today I, I just... mm -mm. I feel like I'm everywhere right now like the words do not want to flow out my mouth maybe I just I you know what it is I overthink it I overthink about what I'm about to say. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to focus. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Because now I'm just like back and forth. I'm I, I, I'm mixed up right now. Usually, I, like I said, I start with my eyes, then my face. But we got to finish the face. So the next thing I like to do, I've been grabbing to it. I've been reaching out to this one lately. This is from L'Oreal. Um, this is a setting file powder look at me powder to set your face and this is such a good setting powder I love the way it feels it's very light it comes with this little sponge right here also a little mirror right here sorry I'm blinding you and yeah I'm just gonna use a big puffy brush oh wait bish rewind I forgot to do the concealer we're gonna conceal our face oh my gosh the same thing that I've used up for my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my face I do not like to go a little heavy on it so I'm just gonna keep it as natural as I can um I stopped putting concealer on top of my forehead the fact that I have a big ass forehead like my forehead is huge so it I don't know I just feel like I don't need it there it creases up there and it looks ugly after a while so I just leave that alone and yeah so let's go ahead and buff this out so with the concealer for the concealer I'm gonna go ahead with a beauty blender booty blender and I'm just gonna dab this in this product into my eyes into my eyes now before I go setting my whole face I am going again with the loose powder fit me and make sure you take out the creases before you go putting in the powder because it's not a good look so I don't go heavy I don't go baking my face I just tap the product right into my skin and then just brush whatever's left over and then I do the same for my nose now for the smile lines I do go a little bit heavy but I don't leave it there too long and then whatever's left over and I just brush it away 
I really love that powder. This powder is very good. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and set the rest of our face with the Revlon setting powder. I'm going to go and I'm going to dab into here and then I'm just going to dab that to set the foundation. This also helps the foundation last longer throughout the day, which I've tested out and it really holds up its potential. Like I said, I'm going to leave everything down below with the prices, links, if you're interested in purchasing. These are all drugstore, just maybe one or two things that I haven't used that was drugstore. But I will also leave the link down below as well for those products too if you're interested in purchasing. But I did give you options. You could always use Wet n Wild and the, the spray. This is literally like, I think I paid like $7. This is very, very affordable. Um, so yeah, so the next thing we're going to go ahead is finish up our face. Might as well. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. And what I like to use is the Revnel London. And it's this bronzer, natural bronzer. And I don't like... When you're going to school, for the first day of school, you I mean, if you have the time, you go ahead and contour, cream contour, do all that good stuff. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and warm up my face, which I'm looking a little bit ghosty right now. So we're going to go ahead and dab into that, and I'm going to warm up my face where I normally contour. And a little bit on my nose. Just to snatch it a little bit. Oh, by the way, I'm using the R14 from Morphe. I didn't mention it. All right, so now that we got our face warmed up, you know, like, come on, that looks really nice and flawless. We're gonna go ahead and move on to. Let me close this. Like, if you was to see my desk right now, it's, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. That's why I'm like a little bit overwhelmed because everything is everywhere, and I had it in order, and now everything is everywhere. But anyways. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish up our face. So for the blush, I like to also use from Maybelline Fit Me. And this is Rose. This is a really soft, very soft blush. Like, even if you go heavy handed, it, it's not harsh. That's what I like about this blush. I love this blush that is not harsh. So we're going to go ahead and with the E4 from Morphe, I'm going to go ahead and blush my face pretty that blush is that br brush I mean, that blush looks very pretty and then you just want to rub that in. this brush right here is very good for blush I love this it's like so perfect to fit on my apples on my cheeks and then you just swoop it and it's so soft it feels so good all right so now for the next thing now this is optional you could go straight into your favorite highlighter but if you want to jazz it up a little bit I'm gonna go ahead with this um L'Oreal Paris the Lumi and I'm just going to dab a little bit of this onto my face where I normally um, put the highlight. And I only use a little bit, so let's, I say that and then I end up going heavy. Let's see. So I'm going to dab some of this right here down our nose. And I'm going to just tap it. Look at how pretty that is. I went a little too far. Girl. I put that right on my cheeks. It's alright. So like like I did. I went too far. I go with the blush brush again and I just tone it down a little bit. And it gives me like a, a nice subtle glow, which I love. And while it's still wet, I like to go really quickly with um one of my favorite highlighters and this is Golden Flower Crown and this has been my go-to as well, very affordable. And so I'm going to go in with the R36 from Morphe. This is one of my favorite highlighting brush. And I'm just going to dab in there. And I'm going to highlight my face. Like, can you see that? Yes. I love it. Blinding girl. And then whatever's left over, I like to bring it around town. And then on my nose, I like to put it on the bottom of my tip of the nose, like so. Yeah. Isn't she adorable? Then right here, a little bit on the bridge of the nose won't hurt. And then with left, left, left over, I put some right here on my chin. Girl wanna look glowy on the first day of school. 
there's never too much highlight. <laughs> never too much. No, <laughs> your girl's a pig. All right, so now that we are set with the face for now, okay, I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and spritz my face real quick. And this is um, I'm gonna use Fix Me Fix Plus to set my everything on my face. That helps melt everything together, the powders and everything that you have used. Melts in your face. Alright, so since I already got this palette in hand, I was going to go in with, damn, I'm not even showing you. I was going to go in with um, the Wet n Wild palettes, but since I already got this in hand and the mirror is already in there, this is also affordable. I believe I purchased this in um, Target for $10 and it came with a brush, a lip, a lippy, and some other stuff if I'm not mistaken. Um, today I'm going to use Mixed Metals Peach. And this is a soft, okay, I think I'm going to go on this side. This is, and I'm blinding you. Oh my God, girl, get your stuff together. This is a soft, soft look right here, which I love. This is like an everyday use. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and go in with this. Use the M573, and it looks like that. And for the transition, I'm going to go in with Outgoing, which is this one right here. And we're going to apply that on our, we're going to keep this simple. We're going to keep it nice and simple. For the first day of school, girl, you want to make sure you keep it simple. So I'm just going to bring that a little bit higher up from my brow bone, but also placing it into my crease. I'm going to do circular motions, like so. And then whatever's left over, I normally just dab it into my eye. Like so. So the next thing we're gonna go do, go ahead and do is I'm gonna switch up into another brush, and this is from Morphe as well, R39, and I'm gonna go in with, um, oh god, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Outspoken with Soft Nude, and I'm gonna place that right into the crease, like so. Winging it out a little bit, just a little bit. And then with the same brush we used from the beginning, which where I put it at, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. Go like ahead so. with the same brush. Do I have another brush here? I do, but I don't want to use my little brushes. All right, so with the same brush that we use for the second color, I'm going to go into this darker color right here, which is like a pinky rose, and this is called Crimson. And I'm going to go ahead and use this on our outer V. Tap that right there in our outer V. Bring it a little bit in. And then we're going to go... I want to tense it up a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and use a smaller brush. I might use this little pencil brush right here from Morphe um, E36 and it looks like that. And I'm going to go ahead and use this brown color right here. This one is called Special. And I'm going to darken up the V, the, the, the outer V. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now with a clean brush, really quickly, you want to go and clean this out, smoke it out, like so. Make sure everything is well put together. Alright, so for the lids, we're going to go ahead into Polit. Go ahead and use the Morphe M421. And I am going to spritz it, so I'm going to go ahead with my Fix Plus. And spritz that bad boy. Let's jump. Oh, good. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and dab into that one. I'm gonna apply that on my lid. So be 
Okay. I really don't like this one. It looks a little bit too chalky for me. Yeah, I don't like that one. I'm going to go ahead with, with one of the palettes, the Wet n Wild palettes. These are very affordable. Um, I'll leave the links down below. But I am going to go ahead and use something else. I really don't like the way that looks. So, um, let me see. So, we have not a basic peach and comfort zone. I think I'm going to go in with not a, basic, <laughs> not a basic peach. And it's this one right here. And we're going to go... Spritz my brush again. The Fix Plus. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. And that down. Ah, that looks better. Back with the R39. I'm going to go back into um, special right here. And I'm going to dab that in the corner V as well. And then for the corner lid, I am going to use, going back to the one that we used for the lid, we're going to go ahead and use this color right here. Does these have the names? No, I really don't. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go use this color right here. This is like a gold shade. And I am going to use another pencil brush. And I'm going to put that right on the corner. All right. So now you can stop here. You don't have to do the wing liner. But I do want to do the wing. And I'm not going to do a full blown crazy wing. I might do a baby wing. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. And the lashes I'm going to be using today is uh, Baditon. I hope I'm saying that right. And they look like this. They're very pretty. And I've used these about five times. Yes, I did. And they're still usable. This is good. I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to grab yourself one. And yeah, I'll be back. Oh, and before I go, the mascara that I'm going to be using is from Temptation. And it's this one right here. And yeah, I'm going to go finish up my eye look. And I'll be right back with you. This is it, guys. This is the look right here. So to finish up the look to uh, what I did on my lower lash line, I went back into Special and outspoken and I went and blew that on about my bottom lash line as low as I can because I have bags and then for lips option is your options you can use whatever type of lip I was gonna go in with what is this I think this I don't even know oh from essence it's a, it's a, this is a nice color and I was gonna go in with this color right here as a new oh wow that is pretty I should have went with that one but lately I've been in my little red lipstick. So I went in with Kiss Professional. And this is a like a crayon lip kind of thingy. And I've just been obsessed with red. If you can see lately, everything is like red. I just, I don't know. I've just been obsessed with red. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it wasn't really in depth step by step. But I tried and made it my duty to show you the things that are very good for an all day use and yeah like I said it's optional if you want to do lashes or the wing mascara it's good enough and yeah I just hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe like I always say if you want to be part of my XO family and if you have any questions of any products that I have used or maybe skipped on that I might have not mentioned during the video please leave your comments down below and also if you want to see another tutorial on get ready not get ready with me but of a makeup look for school maybe more dramatic or maybe I don't know just give me some ideas and I'll go ahead and do those videos for you and yeah this is about it I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like and all that good stuff so go with your besitos and hugs I will see you next time bye this is what I gotta do look what I gotta do this is hard work guys <laughs>